Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna talk more about mass update Excel query. We're gonna go over bringing in uh, a saved criteria. I'm gonna go over how to set up your, your tabs and columns, uh, show you real quick how to run the query. And then finally, we're gonna show you how to export that query into an Excel document. Uh, so to get started, we are in the item maintenance screen, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in a, uh, a saved template I have here called BND washer items. Now, obviously you could build your own criteria on the fly. Uh, but for quickness sake, I already have one saved and you can see it loads in the two extra uh, criteria I want. Delete is automatically on there set to off, uh, but I had the item and the other ones added. Uh, we're going to skip over the options right now because those are more uh, for importing uh, than for exporting. So we're going to minimize those. Now, setting up your columns and tabs. Think about item maintenance and all the different tabs that it has. That, that is what all of these are. These are the top tabs and then these are the location specific tabs at the bottom. Uh, you can search in here. So if you wanna type in standard cost, uh, you can see that it's on the cost tab. There it is. And if I click the eyeball, it'll tog the, uh, toggle the visibility and you'll notice that a cost tab has now opened up down here. Uh, so if you select just one item uh, from a tab, it's going to give another tab and that will be another page in your Excel document. Uh, and again, we'll do a whole video on the Excel uh, template layout in, in the document. Uh, but we'll go through and we'll just we'll just put a couple of different things in here. We'll do item description and then we'll do let's just pick a uh, default price family. We're just going to grab a couple different things. And then again, we have the standard cost um, on this other tab here. Now, all I have to do is come up here and run my query. It's going to go out. It's going to think about it. Um, and I'm only bringing back 342 records. Uh, so it went pretty quick. Uh, keep in mind, you have a 10,000 uh, record limit. Now, that's not 10,000 items per se, uh, because you got to think about locations or, or different tabs that will have multiple records. Uh, so like if I click on this uh, cost tab here, even though I've only pulled in 342 records, that number is going to be multiplied by however many different locations uh, I have that item at. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that I'm gonna have more than 342 or whatever our number was because I now have this duplicated for location 20. So keep that in mind. If you run a query for 5,000 items that are at three different locations, you're gonna get an error saying that you're over uh, 10,000 records when you try to open up that tab. Now, if you're focusing just on the general tab, which is not location specific, if you're only focusing on or, or any of the top tabs that are not location specific, 10,000 items you can edit. But once you get into anything with multiple locations, that's gonna multiply uh, those record counts. So once you have that, a good tip is to make sure that you open all of the tabs. Cause you notice when I clicked on this tab, it had to go and query run that information for that tab. If I would have just went straight to export after only having that front tab, sometimes it doesn't grab all the data. So if I had five tabs down here, I'm gonna want to click on each one to make sure that data is pulled. Once I have confirmed all that data is in there, I can just click the export and it's gonna quickly, depending on your system, it, it may ask you to save it. I have mine set up to automatically go into uh, my downloads folder. Uh, so that's all we're gonna cover in this video. Uh, we're gonna have some other videos covering the actual Excel template, bring them in and some other topics. Uh, if you have questions about this or you wanna see videos and some other stuff, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.